Okay, I'm going to show you how to run the uh, Builders Automation MFSR, the pneumatic um, controlled processor driven machine. Um, we're going to go over how to run uh, an open staircase, which would be this unit here. Uh, later, we'll go over how to do the contemporary and the box stairs. Um, we're going to start with the uh, open just because that's how this machine is set up currently. Um, to start out, we're going to go ahead and just key it on. You're going to get your control light, turn it off, you're going to press your e start button. So that's back on. And if you look here, it's going to tell us open stringer. The open stringer has some limitations to it, one of which is that the, the depth. Uh, has to be set, if we're doing the open stringer, has to be set to three quarter deep and the thickness has to be set to one and a half inch. What that's referring to is if you look up here, these are your settings and we're going to do it at three quarter deep. Then put that an inch and a half, that at three quarter deep. Then we're going to set it to a one A and that's going to give us the code that the processor, the PLC, knows that we're doing open stringers. <clears throat> you can run top, both, bottom, or off. Obviously, you want to do both because we're going to do this cut in two stages. Um, the air system has to be an auto. The vacuum, that's optional. Uh, depending, of course, if you have a vacuum hooked to this machine, it's going to be an auto. It's going to turn on and off each time the machine is cycled. Or if you have a central system, you can just leave it in the off position. The machine itself doesn't care. It's going to run either an off or on, off or auto. So uh, over here, this is the number of treads or repeats that the machine will do. Um, I have it set for four. That would be 14. That would be five. I think you get the point. There's 24 and so on. These two are your amp meters. This lets you know the, the draw of how much amps each motor is pulling. Uh, this is an excellent indicator to know if your router bits are getting dull. Um, once they start pulling in excess of 20 amps, it's a good time to change out your cutters and have them sharpened. Uh, that'll save your motors tremendously. Um, over on the machine itself, you have a sensor here and you have another one just like this on the outfeed side. This is important because if there's no wood in the machine, the sensor will register that and the machine will not start. So I just have this cheater board in here currently just so we can cycle it so you can see how the machine is running. Over here, you have your system air, which is the air coming to the machine. Uh, it should not be much higher than 100. Uh, 100 is ideal. If it's a little over 100 like it is right now, that's not a big deal but 100 is about where we want it, plus or minus 5%. This is your riser pressure and your tread pressure. There is a differential between these two, and the reason for that is as it's making its way up the tread, the riser is pulling while the tread is pushing. Now, if, one, if they were equal to or if the riser was higher than the tread, it couldn't, it couldn't get the the, the velocity as it's going up the inside fence that you desire. Now that is something that may have to occasionally be adjusted depending on the temperature of your facility um, or the density of the wood that you're cutting. Up here you have the different speeds for your hydraulics. Now it, it, I say hydraulics but it's actually air over oil but you are in fact moving fluid through these flow controls so it is a, it is a hydraulic control. Pretty simple system. The arrows are pointing in the direction that you're controlling. So this is the return going back down the tread. This is going forward on the tread. This one in the middle is controlling just your nose as it cuts into the nose of the tread. And then obviously over here, this is your riser going back up the riser, going down the riser. Um, these aren't these controls don't normally have to be addressed, adjusted much. But um, I'll try to show you in, the, in one of the other videos how to make adjustments there and, and the reaction of the machine as you make those adjustments. Up here, you have your tread scale. 
This is your run scale. And over here, you have your riser scale. So this one indicates the, the length or the height of your riser. This one indicates the, the length or width of your tread. And then this one, when this scale lines up with your riser scale, this gives you your hypotenuse or your run, the distance between one tread and the next tread and so on to keep the geometry straight on your staircase. So this unit is currently set up at what looks to be a little over 10 inch on the tread um, and I can tell that by the hash mark that's in the brass piece lined up to the scale. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move this guy out to where it is at 10 inch. Okay. And then over here on our riser, we currently have 6 and 7 sixteenths. We're going to go ahead and we're going to set this guy up. to a seven and a half just for just to exp just to show you how that moves Okay, so we're going to get that set to seven and a half. And then that should do it. Okay. And if you notice, the riser, the, the run scale up top will now line up to the face of that scale and that gives us 12 and a half inches. That 12 and a half inches, we're going to take that dimension and we're going to transfer that down to this scale here. <clears throat> and that is what is going to give us the length that the board is going to be advanced. Through the machine. Okay. Now I have the routers turned off just because when they're on they're so loud and we're going to do a dry cut. We're actually not going to have material in here. Just for demonstration reasons. So I press the start button once. Unit goes into the home position. <clears throat> Clamp comes forward. And there you go, that's what the cut would be. Now, in an open staircase, you notice the routers haven't plunged yet. They don't plunge until they get into the back corner. Plunge because it's up against the side fence, the inside fence, and this is going to do multiple passes so we don't actually collide the cutters. So um, that's going to conclude how to make the settings on the open stringers. The next video we're going to show how to do box stairs.